Soy sauce has journeyed from a traditional condiment to a global kitchen staple, embodying the essence of Asian cuisine. This savory liquid, originally crafted through the natural fermentation of soybeans and wheat, has become an essential part of culinary traditions around the world. Beyond its role as a mere seasoning, soy sauce represents a rich history of culture, trade, and gastronomy, evolving with each passing century. So, how did they do it? Soy sauce was first birthed over 2,000 years ago in ancient China. Back then, it was known as Chang, a simple fermented paste of soybeans that laid the foundation for what soy sauce would become. As Buddhism spread across Asia, so did the love for soy sauce. Each country it touched, Japan, Korea, Southeast Asia, embraced it, adding their unique twist. In Japan, it transformed into shoyu. In Korea, ganjang. Then, in the 1600s, soy sauce embarked on a new adventure, this time to Europe. Dutch and Japanese traders introduced this exotic taste to a new audience, sparking curiosity and fascination. What started as a luxury item, enjoyed by the few who could afford it, gradually became a global phenomenon. So what lies at the heart of every bottle of soy sauce? It has four simple ingredients, which are soybeans, wheat, salt, and water. Simple, right? An important ingredient in soy sauce is aspergillus molds. These tiny but mighty fermenting agents are the catalysts, transforming the soy and wheat mixture into a concoction brimming with umami. Not all soy sauce is created equal. Depending on where you are in the world, the recipe might get a little twist. From the clear, light soy sauces favored in some Chinese dishes to the thick, dark varieties that enrich Japanese cuisine, the diversity is astounding. To make soy sauce, there are two main methods. There is the time-honored traditional brewing, known as the Hanjozo method, and the speedy chemical production. The Hanjozo method takes us back to the roots. Soybeans and wheat are soaked, cooked, and then introduced to aspergillus mold. Mixed with brine, this concoction is left to age, sometimes for many months. On the flip side, chemical production is when soybeans undergo acid hydrolysis, a process that speeds things up dramatically. Within days, soy sauce emerges. But this method isn't without its debates. While it offers efficiency and cost effectiveness, some argue it lacks the depth of the flavor found in traditional brewed soy sauce. Plus, there are concerns about health implications due to the artificial additives. Whichever method is used, once the magical transformation of simple ingredients into soy sauce is complete, what comes next is just as crucial getting this liquid gold ready for its journey to your table. In sparkling clean factories, the soy sauce is bottled with the utmost attention to hygiene and quality. Before these bottles make their grand exit, they undergo a strict quality inspection. Experts test every batch to ensure that only the best soy sauce earns the label. Then, with the help of modern logistics, this ancient sauce travels across continents and oceans, finding its way into supermarkets, restaurants, and kitchens worldwide. Each bottle carries with it centuries of tradition, ready to add depth and umami to dishes far from its origins. It's a meticulous process, ensuring that when you open a bottle of soy sauce, what you're getting is not just an ingredient, but a splash of history and craftsmanship. Did you know that the word soy is a nod to its Japanese name, shoyu? It's a small word with a big history, linking us directly to soy sauce's cultural roots. Its journey from Asia to Europe in the 1600s opened up new taste horizons, showing how a humble sauce can bridge continents and cultures, adding depth and complexity to dishes far from where it originated. But its impact isn't just culinary. Soy sauce plays a starring role in various traditional ceremonies, showcasing its deep cultural significance. From adding it to the first foods of a baby to using it in wedding dishes, soy sauce goes beyond the kitchen. And let's talk about health. Soy sauce is a complex concoction high in amino acids, the building blocks of protein, making it more than just a tasty addition to your meals. However, it's wise to use it in moderation due to its high sodium content, 
balancing the delicious umami flavor with a mindful approach to diet. So, the next time you drizzle soy sauce over your sushi or pour it into your stir-fry, remember, you're not just adding flavor. You're dipping into a rich story that spans thousands of years and has touched every corner of the globe. Soy sauce comes from a long line of history and tradition that has spanned decades. It seems like a very simple ingredient, but it packs a flavor punch. Another rather simple food item that is essential in our lives is cereal. Click on the next video on your screen and discover the fascinating way in which cereal is made.